How to answer a P5 exam question in 10 easy steps. Step 3. In step 3, I'll be talking to you about the requirement. Understanding the requirement of the question will point you in the right direction. That means that you need to read the requirement carefully so that you will have an idea of which part of the syllabus is being examined. That will also give you an idea of the sort of models that you can use and also the possible calculations that you need to come up with. Remember, it is very, very, very essential to your planning. It will also help in identifying the relevant information when you are reading the scenario. Make sure that all parts of the requirements are answered. This can be done by breaking down the requirement into various parts. For example, in the requirement of the sample question that we're using, we are being told to explain to the CEO what value-based management involves and how it can be used to focus on the company shareholders' interests. The first thing we, can look, we need to look at here is we have the word explain. Explain means we need to make something very clear to someone. If we are supposed to make something very clear to someone, that actually means that we need to go down to basics and explain a lot to this CEO. The second part of this that we need to be careful is we have the word end. End means there's a second part to the question. By so doing, if we are able to read the requirement and we are able to analyze the requirement carefully, we will know how to go about the question and score most of the marks awarded. If I look at the second part of this sample question, B is asking me to perform. I'm asked to perform an assessment of the financial performance of LOL using EVA and also to evaluate your results compared to those of EPS, growth, and share price information. You should state any assumptions made. The first thing you can see over here is the word perform. Perform means to carry out. So the first thing that comes to mind is, if I'm being asked to perform an assessment of the financial performance, that means that there is bound to be some calculations. Another thing that I can see over here is, I'm being asked to use a EVA. EVA, the next thing I ask myself is, what will be the formula that I need to use in calculating EVA? The next thing I'm being told about here is, I need to evaluate. Evaluate means to ascertain. To ascertain, I'm only thinking of, how do I try to ascertain something? Now, the examiner is giving us a clue to evaluate our results compared to those of EPS growth. So I'm talking about EPS growth. That means I need to do more calculations coming in here. I've also been told of share price information. Share price information, I know that I might have to get that from the scenario. I've also been asked to state any assumptions. Remember, the examiner wants me to state an assumption. That means I need to find somewhere in the scenario to state any assumption that I make. If I go to the C part, the C part is asking me to evaluate. Evaluate means I need to actually judge. To judge means the examiner is asking me to talk about the pros and to talk about the cons. Now, once we've been able to break down the requirement into these parts, it makes it easier for us to go through the question with ease. It also helps us to be able to identify which part of the scenario to use to answer the question carefully.